Uh, we're gonna um, welcome everybody to the November 26th um, Water Sewer Commission meeting, and I think we have a. Uh, no, this was your text did not go through. I thought we might have had a response. Um, we are gonna open with a pledge of allegiance. to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm sure there's everything in here. Plenty of agendas, please. Thank you. I got one. You do. Thank you. And we're going to um, move right on to uh, superintendent updates, please. Mm -hmm. Super question. Your scribe isn't here again. Right. Um, you want to try to? Do you want us to do? As far as uh, minutes, uh, because I mean, you don't have a scribe, you can do it. I mean, do the minutes the best I possibly can. Okay. <laughs> Just want to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> Frank is everything. I can't take notes like Tara. I'm trying. Uh, Tara, well, Tara did it last night. Tara, Tara, she right. Tara up was on. Those, yeah. those fingers were moving. Yep. Uh, 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 start off with well five. Uh, during cleaning and development which is typical, we usually pull some gravel pack from that. The amount of gravel pack that was coming out was a little concerning this time, so we did halt production by about a day. Uh, once the well settled down, they typically do a camera to, uh, to view the screen. We did find a split in the screen at one of the seams. So halting production was the right thing to do before we had a collapse or, or anything worse. Um, unfortunately, with the age and the setup of that well, it does not make sense to put another screen internally, which we had to do at six last time. Right. Um, it limits the potential for cleaning and further development next time around. The, um, the yield that came back, I don't have an actual number, but based on what we saw and what we were able to pump at the time, we believe we're somewhere around the 600 per minute mark. Very good. It may be short-lived because of the condition of the well. Right. Um, the magic number we were looking for was five right. to go to the plant, so we should have that. Um, That's achieved. excellent news, man. The uh, the concern is the time frame that this well starts to deteriorate is usually six to eight months. So that's right. that's the window we have to look at our next available option, which is the new production wells that we've been testing. Right. And um, I don't know what the turnaround time would be from when we guarantee we have a good site, which we believe we have at least one right now, but that's the the point of interest to go right now. It doesn't make sense to spend any more time or money on this well that we already know was aging, already has had issues, and obviously this is proof. Right. Um, the screen was very conservative when it was put in back, way back when. So th there's better options available with technology the way it is now uh, by going with a pitless location well, leave the existing building, Put a pitless with a submersible pump in the ground at the dew source, plummet to it, run the wires on the ground, and uh, flip the switch. And what and, we've done at three and, of our other and go yep. other wells already. Okay. So that's I think where our direction will be for well five. Um, well six is also being looked at for development. We already know that one had right. a failure. Um, we'll see what happens when we do the the small cleaning on that when we go to transition that over to the station. You know, I don't think you're going to see much there because the small screen that's there that you're working, you're not going to get as much movement of the water. Right. So it may come back slightly, but uh, I don't anticipate any, any surprises with the, the right. amount of water we're going to get from that well. So the second alternate site, though, I understand mean, those three alternates, does the second one have potential to be used as a It does. They, well? they obviously go for the one that is producing the most water. Yeah. Um, there were two or three locations that okay. they had tested. Um, one they weren't very happy with, they moved to another location. Um, it wasn't even something that was anticipated. There was a reason there was some pipe dropped in, in a spot where they wanted to go with number two. 
they relocated and went across the street, and that's where they come up with that. I think it was 70 gallons a minute per foot. Wow. So impressive on a small, small yeah. well. So I will be, uh, I've already had a few discussions with Tara about that. She kind of knows we're aiming in that direction. Um, there was even talk about potentially having a small change order and already installing a T and a valve assembly on the new pipe that has to go in yeah. now. Why wouldn't you, right? So you don't have to dig up the pipe <coughs> right. later no, it's on. plug and play, yep. You know, just make the connection, close a few valves, and, and wire it up, you're good to go. Right. Um, I don't know where we are with the contractor that we've had some issues with who is afraid to dig around pipe, if, uh, if he's interested in, in that or not. <laughs> um, I have not heard any more on that. I know Tara was away at a conference and she's been extremely busy with multiple things going on. Right. Um, but that's where we at, we're at with well five, um, keeping with the wells. There's been a few calls. While, while you're on the, yeah. um, the T or tap or whatever it is, mm -hmm. if, um, if you put it out to the contractor that this is something that you're interested in and if they get back in a timely fashion that's fine if not that would, why wouldn't we be able to do that with our guys we definitely could I just don't know if we have the ability to attach something to their pipe that hasn't been accepted yet right um, if it comes back and fails a pressure test they're gonna point right at us and say yeah. hey it's because you attached to it it's nothing that we did yeah um, you know, it's not the end of the world to have to go back in later right. and cut a section out and drop a the well in. way back in the, you know, in the it's down not, by the well. It's not horrible. Obviously, if we could turn a few valves, it's, it's a better situation. Right. So we'll, we'll work with uh, with Tara and see if that's uh, a possibility. Yeah. You know, pay a little bit now and make things move that much quicker down the road. Yeah. But. Uh, from what I heard from Tara, there's possibility of M.U. Smith starting on Monday. That is the last that I have heard, okay. um, that they may pull another contractor in right. to finish this work that seems to have been dragged on for a length of time. Excellent news. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's just fantastic. <laughs> People who can actually dig. Oh, nice. okay. mm -hmm. Yes. Excellent. There's, there's a few of them out there. Yep. <laughs> and did that um, trench that was open ever get backfilled? Or? It did. Good. All right. It did. So that was, that was good timing for that. Six months to backfill a hole is fine. Right. <laughs> uh, let's see, where are we at? Oh, yeah, continuing with the wells. wells. There has been notice of apparent color in the system down in the Plain Street area, and it is because we are primarily running on well four, which is the well that is uh, has the highest level of iron. So you will get that yellow tint. We've responded to uh, probably five or six calls in the month of people noticing that apparent color, tea color, um, and questioned, you know, why it hasn't gone away, you know, when is it going to go away, and what is it? And we've explained to them every time that we could flush and waste the water. It's not going to change the fact that that's the apparent color we have coming from that it's well. well for, yeah. mm -hmm. That is, you know, the main producer right now, and it is going to be there until we have that well taken offline or other wells put online. To where, dilute it. Where before we had a dilution factor, it wasn't very noticeable. And with five being off, which was our largest production well, right. you know, that's taken the place. And it's, it's slowly migrating. The calls are getting a little further and further apart from the wells. And that's the exact reason why. It's, that's the reason we're building the plant. Mm. Right. So it's uh, something to be dealt with on the short term. And eventually, it will go away. And then you'll see the, the clear water coming in, replacing the tinted water. Yep. Uh, let's see what else we got. We'll stay with the water. Uh, lead and copper samples, they were out since the beginning of the month. We have still need to collect three to make our compliance number. This week is probably not going to happen with people being away and, and traveling. Right. You know, we have uh, you know, a couple more weeks to get them in to make compliance. If not, we, we have to fill out different paperwork for, for DEP and report it in the CCR that we were non-compliant because you know, just didn't have enough people able to take the samples for us. It's not something that we take, it's a resident sample. Right, relying on others. Yep. So uh, that's uh, a possibility of something that may come up in the future if we don't make our compliance number for the monitoring. Uh, let's see. Uh, water treatment facility training. The um, Tonka is scheduled in from Minnesota the first two weeks of December. Really Tonka? That is their name. 
<laughs> trucks. That's we're going, we're play with trucks. Yellow that's trucks. That's flat out yellow awesome. trucks. That is right. awesome. Yeah, they'll be in. Um, they're flying in from Minnesota for the first two weeks of December to train the operators at the plant on their actuators and and, and everything that they're associated with. Okay. Um, and uh, I believe once water starts going through the facility, <coughs> we do our pump to waste tests, and then we'll get the EP involved, making sure that we have all the kinks and everything worked out prior to bringing them down and wasting their time and our time. And um, I believe Becky has been uh, involved with uh, speaking with DEP to, to coordinate that. Nice. So December is definitely going to be a busy month for us with uh, moving people around, you know, coverage, you know, holiday. It, it'll be tough. But we'll get there. Uh, you know, transition right into staff. I uh, had a couple interviews last week. Two of the candidates that I found out of the small group of applicants, one of them actually has a D2 in training that he acquired himself by going to BCC. Um, he has a science background. He was interested in, in the water and the chemistry. And uh, unfortunately, it's in training because he doesn't work in a facility. Right. But that actually shaves about two years off the average sure. person coming in from the street. Um, and the level of interest is... is That's important. Very, yeah. very supportive of... Is yeah. to exactly. I have uh, a second interviewee that is uh, extremely interested. He has also um, obtained a few books and started training on his own with the intent that uh, he knew we were going to be hiring. I spoke to him in the summer. Right. Um, he was anticipating on taking a test sometime around January. So if we can pull him in yep. also with uh, his interest, I think uh, they're both very good fits. To kind of fill in for the guys that have transferred yeah. within the department exactly. over to the plant. Yep. Good work. All right. Bring a couple of people in. There's still uh, two more interviews. I'd like to. Uh, I've been trying to schedule, but we're trying to. I'm trying to work around their schedule. You know, we don't have them take time off or anything right. like that. So, sure. You know, I have one. I think next week um, that might actually be an evening interview, which is perfectly fine. You know, I don't need people wasting wasting their time taking sick time or vacation right. time just right. for an interview. You know, and um, there's there's still a couple promising people that hopefully we can lock them in and. Uh, Better our facility by no, getting that's these excellent. people in place. The uh, the hang up is actually the the town manager. I've requested um, his permission to uh, see if he is interested in reviewing the applications as he has in the past right. and doing interviews. Um, how we can expedite this because obviously it has to go before the board of selectmen. That's where they get appointed. Right. So that uh, as quickly as I can possibly tell these people, yes, this we want you. Right. Then they can start giving their notice and work off the uh, the two or three weeks that they need to give their current job. Right. So it's it's all about timing and uh, um, how it is a very did difficult. You, did you send over an email? Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. So if. Um, We'll just see how that gets responded to, and if there's no activity on the action on the email in a week, uh, re-email, and we'll um, we'll take the next step. Sure. Yeah, I, I would uh, anticipate that people with this interest in looking for jobs elsewhere may be also looking elsewhere. Sure. And I would hate to uh, lose, you know, some very good candidates just right. for having a timing issue. With now, as with we um, talked about at the Chatham tour, there's there's not a whole ton of people who are. A licensed, qualified, and or interested. Exactly. Yeah. So it's a, it's, you kind of hit a, a good, a good exactly. group, I guess. Yeah. It, it was uh, unexpected to see the qualifications as they came across the desk. Nice. Um, so, working on it. Well, it's a, it's a good thing for our system too. It's a brand new plant. There's a whole lot of positive energy coming from the new plant, and a little bit of you know growth in the department and all that. So it's not ground floor stuff, but it's. Right. It's a good time for interested people to get in, in my fine. opinion. Yeah, there's definitely uh, going to be a learning curve that's going to be there, but that's fine. You know, it's going to be across the board. It's not right. going to be the, the two new people don't know things. It's everybody's learning. Right, you know, right. Myself included. I'll, I'll be down there learning stuff that I don't know currently, and that, that's the whole goal of, of putting things together. Uh, we can, uh, we'll change directions. Uh, sprint tower lease that I had spoken about. A month, month and a half ago right. or so, um, I asked the town manager if we could have that reviewed by legal counsel at the board's request. Uh, still have yet to hear back. I reached out to the contact person for Sprint. He is eagerly waiting the legal review. 
to make sure that everything is in order and understands now coming into the holidays it, it right. could be delayed even further. Yep. Um, I have sent an email to the town manager asking if he could contact legal, find out <clears> what's going on, and I referenced a couple other things. Uh, one was the need for them to review the contract for homes in East Main Street, a project that's already been started and completed with no review. Uh, and then the project we have coming up on Pine Street, you know, if we should uh, ask for an early review prior to the bid openings that we anticipate sometime early January, right. maybe this would give them a little more time. Kind of hit the ground running, yep. To, to review it, you know, as it seems to be very important that these things get reviewed, just it hasn't worked out that way. Right. Uh, I have, again, yet to hear back. Again, he's a, a busy man. I don't anticipate him dropping everything to get back to us, but I, I hope to hear one way or the other, and I don't think we should proceed with that tower extension lease without having legal involved. Right. <clears throat> it's uh, been common practice. I've spoken with the administrator. And every time there's been a tower lease or an RFP, legal has been involved to make seems, sure seems prudent that the average Joe, which doesn't know about the wording in there, is not the one signing off and saying this looks perfectly fine. Right. And it could be something being slipped in there or a change in a, in a rate. No, this so. is this is why we retain legal counsel. Mm -hmm. So. Um, the other thing is, if you're looking at January seventh, there's been an opening date. Advertisement is four weeks plus before that. Prior to that, in December. Yeah, right. so where at right this point, there. There. if you're going to do it, you're there mm -hmm. now. Exactly. Right. Um, what, I mean, we have a legal budget. Why not just request Coleman and Page to look at it on our own? Just ship it over to KMP and see what they <clears> say. Okay. We can pay that invoice. We asked. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm, I, there's, it makes no sense to wait. Does it still go through Lauren or will it go directly to Dave Dineski? Or I, both? I believe we dealt with Lauren before, but I don't know. I thought it was Dave does the actual summer reviews. Reviews. Okay. Right. Either way, if, if yeah. whichever one is the go to person, mm -hmm. either or would flip it to them. I mean, you would think. You know, send it to one and. Right. And, CC, and CC the other one, the other one right. and say, right. you know, I mean, it, it's time is of the essence. We have, you know, you know, you know the game. Right. And, and, and there's uh, a bigger contract, too. It, it's know, a standard streets. contract. It's something right. that we've, that was why we had asked for a, a blanket approval on them before, and that was denied. So, mm -hmm. um, uh, it's just bad lawyering to give you blanket approval on anything. I understand, but it doesn't hurt to ask. <laughs> They're never going to do that. It doesn't hurt to ask. <laughs> Uh, the water rate increase, as was discussed uh, many meetings ago, the water rate increase will be going into effect soon. Uh, Rose and I had had a discussion and felt it was important to remind customers uh, we're actually going to have this or something very similar to this as a bill stuffer in the bills that go out to remind the residents of the rate increase in the structure. Excellent. For those that may have not attended the meeting or been able to watch it on social media, mm -hmm. this will, uh, I'm sure, generate a few phone calls for those who were unaware or uh, unable. Okay. If there's any changes or any wording you would like different on there, you can mark nope. that up. And I think. Uh, okay. I think that pretty that pretty much just, nails just it. Just a simple mailer, which we don't typically yep. do. We'll do a stuffer and. and uh, get the information back out there again. Uh, let's see. One more thing. We'll switch over to sewer. Back in November of 2014, the completion of the Newland Street area sewer um, generated letters that went to all the residents, explained that they have five years to tie in ah. to the sewer. Five years is up, as of Monday. Um, we've reached out to the Board of Health to remind them that it is their jurisdiction for enforcement because it's a Board of Health bylaw that it enables them the $100 a day fine for every day that's not tied in after the, the date. Okay. Um, there has been some talk about possibly granting uh, an extension on that, whereas you know there was no notices prior other than the original notice. Right. And to give them time that if they wanted to go before the Board of health for an appeal 
they could request to do that, which I think they have seven days once they receive the actual letter in the mail. Right. If they want to uh, try and appeal that. Appeal the charge or appeal the deadline? Up, appeal anything, I believe. Oh, okay. Probably the deadline. Um, yeah. So they're uh, given, given the season that you're in and weather yeah. conditions mm -hmm. coming up. Yeah. Don't want to even just put another notice on and said it's five years up, but implement it in the spring. Realistically, April 15th yeah. would be the. Yeah. I mean, the. That might deflect a lot of yeah. people by saying, okay, as of this is the date. Right, do it yeah. in the spring, you know, as far as for, for repairs. You and them a little more flexibility. What kind of, what kind of numbers? How many how many residences are up, yeah. that are remaining to hook up? There yeah. are two. Two? That's two. it? Oh, okay. Okay. There I thought two. it was a lot more than that. Nope. Yeah. Okay. No. I thought so too. Uh, there, was, there was a third that tied in uh, last week. Okay. Uh, prior to them selling their house, they, uh, oh. they had to do the tie-in. Right. Makes and, sense. Um, the stub's are already there. They're off the road. So okay. the weather should not be a limitation. Right. As we get deeper into the winter, it may be. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, there's uh, a group effort here between the Board of Health and the water to get this obviously tied in. It's required to be tied in. Other people have met the, the demand time. Right. You know, these people should be no different. Um, Board of Health has low interest loans that they can offer. Right. You know, um, it's been five years. Right. So, I mean, I forget things that happened last week. I can understand people forgetting things right. that, that they may have gotten a notice for five five years ago. Right. Um, it is something that's pretty substantial. So I guess I think I might remember something like that. But it's, it's something you would remember. I don't think it'd be something I would overlook, especially if it was a, a looming deadline. Right. But uh, we'll see. Um, there is the slight possibility that these may have been connected without the town's notice. That way they would have to prove that it was and show documentation, and then that would be a whole other <laughs> investigation that would have to go on. Wow. To, uh, these houses, just residences? Yes. This is a gravity sewer? Yes. When did the letters go out? The second uh, time? The second time they went out the, the beginning of this week. Okay. So it was right on the deadline date. And they stressed in the letters $100 per day. Yep. Okay. We have uh, a copy of the letters that went out. Attached to it is the original letter with uh, the previous superintendent's signature on the bottom. These are the two addresses and the two letters that went out. <coughs> somebody at some point in time, one, one way or the other. Mm. Uh, and that's that's what I have for all my wonderful information, so I'll pass it off to somebody else. So I imagine we'll wait till the appeal. I believe we'll wait till that, that appeal process, see if anybody right. anticipates or sure. you know, reaches out to us. How does, how does 30 days in the year probably? Sometimes I'm sure. Right. It, it's not something that's an overnight right. solution. Right. Um, if we wait until spring, it's not not horrible, you know, weather conditions will be better, but uh, it's not that we can't take this time of year either. Yeah, true. We're going on a so far so good with the weather. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Uh, do you have an update on the water? Yeah, just a few things just to right? add to uh, what, what uh, Frank has already talked about. Uh, and then obviously the treatment plant's the, the big one, and we did mention the fact that likelihood that M.E. Smith will be out there on Monday to install the water main. Uh, keep current, there's issues getting Maverick back on the job to do the water main installation. And uh, obviously the time is important to get somebody out there. And that's a good thing. Um, so this is a obvious back charge to Maverick. I, I'm not familiar with how this... It's, uh, it's between, because Maverick is not a filed sub bid, it's between the it's GC the and them. You guys aren't involved in all. Okay. Right. Separate right. contract. All right. So they're not a file sub All right. It's still so, us and Methuen. Right. Correct. Right. All right. And 
then if it get done by Methuen and they get somebody else, that's yep. their purview. Fine. Period. Okay, uh, not going to be any worse. Um, no comment. <laughs> Nothing to add to that. Um, and as as Frank said, Home Street is pretty done except for the final paving. Um, and the only thing going on, I guess, is the discolored pavement at Northern Glen. And they're still not that happy. But mm -hmm. the rains that we've been having lately have been doing a really good job. Blending. Um, mm -hmm. And it's gradually going away. But I'm not sure if there's town crew with town people going to go on and sweep. I think we probably that window's probably closed. I, okay. I would say that the sweeper is most likely stored already. For the winter? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So hopefully the, the rain and snow will continue to do its, its job. Yeah. I think the only thing that needs to be done down there is the, uh, the hydrant. It needs to have the town colors. Town I colors. I believe that was overlooked. Really? Yeah. How could gravity long look bad? Well, They've been here before. I know. You see how they paint? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Uh, and, and Pine Street, the bid opening date has been tentative this after the 7th of January. Um, and, and I really think that it makes some sense to have uh, the legal review done. If it wasn't done on the last one, or if it was, then you guys never got word that it exactly. was done, it was completed. But I think it's time. And to go directly makes some sense. And um, the master plan, as you know, we've done comments are in, uh, printing final copies, um, one for each of you, the commissioners, and two for the office. And um, if you like any more, just let us know. I think that should suffice. Yeah. And I think on the water side, that's that's it. Excellent. The tour went well, I guess, on The uh, tour was good. Um, in Chatham? In uh, all operators down there, yeah. um, very knowledgeable. Um, obviously, it's a one-year-old plant, uh, very, very well organized. Um, seems to be running smooth. They're not, they're not operating it 24-7. Uh, it runs a few hours daily and uh, they're happy with the production. I don't think their um, density or their concentrations of iron and manganese are as severe as ours. Mm -hmm. So it, I think it works a little more easily. Um, but I'm looking forward to seeing ours online and it's, uh, it's very encouraging to see a, uh, a similar plant in operation. And um, given that it's Chatham, the, the use obviously drops significantly sure. in the uh, non-summer months. Um, and they have other treatment plants as well okay. in the town, so it's not the only one they have. All right. So, all good. It was a nice facility. Frank was, was wondering why we didn't get the brick. It was nice. <laughs> <laughs> the, brick, the brick would have looked better in the, the fall colors. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We'll ask Tanner. We'll ask. We'll ask or blame. Who do we? Either one. Yeah. Ask or blame. One of the other. Yeah, exactly. Right. Uh, uh, speaking either way, of, she can handle it. Yeah. Uh, speaking of Tanner, she had given me this. I don't know if this has already been discussed. The pay. This is um, Methuen's pay rate number seventeen. Um, it looks like these are. Signed copies. They need to be signed by the commission. So Tara would ask me to deliver these. And was this one was signed by the engineer. Mm -hmm. So she just gave this to me and said, Bring these. And then the other ones aren't. So the top one is signed by us. We'll take them back and get the other signatures if it's not on one side. I, I didn't even really identify that signature. But, um, <laughs> so I don't know how you guys normally do these. Is there a, a vote to approve the payment? Has that already been done on this one, or is this new to you? I, I, have you seen this already? Or am I bringing this for the first time? I, guess I, I, I know we've made change. payments. Yeah, I think we did 16 and 17. 16 was the one that was halted because it wasn't, some a button wasn't pushed in the computer by somebody else. This is the one that Tara showed to us last time, both of them. So yeah, the uh, there's a spot to sign down at the bottom, which you guys have done in the past, which is over there on the bottom right. <clears throat> 
Yeah. Yes. Progress payment number 17 on the, on the water plant. Maybe we should hold off and have the gutter fixed first. Gutter to sit up there. <laughs> Yeah, you know, didn't have that in town. I, I, I was looking for it. <laughs> it. Might be custom Norton design. What was that? You don't know what we're talking about. I have no idea. I have pictures of it. It's just it's a downspout. And then there was a conflict with the downspout and the electrical work. So they what? Adapted. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I, like, I have it. something like that in my house, there. actually. Around the corner. Yeah. So With my porch. Oh my god. <laughs> They'll still get there. <laughs> well, you sound like Tara. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Should make that my screensaver. <laughs> The name of that contractor was M. E. Smith. M. E. Smith. Very good. This Saturday, Monday. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I'm not aware of them. I just, they're not yeah. familiar to me. No, the name doesn't sound familiar. But, that's right. but there are a fair amount of small contractors that. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, three years ago, I never heard of Gravity either. So. Mm. They definitely could have put some pipe in the ground down there. Yeah. It's, it's near live water main. Right? It is? Yeah. That's well, isn't everything? Yeah. <laughs> if you need another Thank one. You. Works? No, 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 in the office. office. In the office. Yeah. Okay. Since the beginning, actually. Yeah. See, project manager. Yeah, he's with um, he's he was with Tara Horan when we first started working at the plant. Yeah. That's right. Next time you can remind me of those little. Putting tabs on tabs. Yeah. I'm always trying to save money, you know. <laughs> every, every little bit helps. It's okay. I'm used to it. Well, this will be one of the a cookie break. I know. Tell so well. He didn't show up. I know. You got no cookie man. <laughs> the cookie monster's not here. And there were what five copies of this? Come on. Um, I'm very happy that there is another excavation contractor going to the site. I know a lot of this, what I looked a minute ago, is not related to that. So I know the uh, the money has to flow so they can continue to operate, but it's kicking the can down the street that the excavation contractor did. Yeah. It drove me crazy. Mm -hmm. Take them back. The other side. I guess so. Yeah. 
Yeah, we didn't That's find any copies. Okay. There's some. Yeah. There's some yeah. Okay. I'll make a note that you take them because I'll be looking for them in the morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll put them somewhere. Start talking about sewer. Or Why not? Let's do it. Um, so since the last meeting, um, the contractor um, continued to button up some work on Taunton Ave. Uh, if you remember at the last meeting, they were on 123 um, in some significant ledge. So we right. we moved them over to Taunton Ave with the night work. So they put in that drainage that we had talked about. Right. Um, and they did the service connections from the uh, from the sewer, the Y's in the sewer, out to the property lines along Taunton Ave. So everything in Taunton Ave and on the Wheaton campus is done. Okay. Right? So, and then coming out of the intersection in 123, the sewer is in up to Fernandez Circle. Um, that's the manhole they were trying to set. So right. they just haven't chipped enough rock out yet. They needed a probably another night or two to, yep. to be able to get that. So that's where they'll be next year. We're currently in the winter shutdown. The state, you know, the original shutdown was November 15th. They had given us authorization to work until December 1st. Um, last night they did, they touched up the temporary paving, um, which is the final, was the final thing okay. um, that they were going to do this year in the, uh, in the state highway, um, they will be doing work at the pump station. I'm still trying to Off get a schedule there. from them uh, on that work, um, so they can make some progress on that. Um, so, and Frank, I don't know if you've seen the, the temporary paving. I saw it just coming in in the dark. It certainly looks a lot better than lot when better. we were out there. <laughs> I, I hadn't. I have not had a chance to drive on it. Yeah, so it definitely, it, it looks. It looks better, and right. it's it's still. I mean, you can feel it. Right. It's not. Not compared It's not final right. yeah, pavement, it's not but it right. should be. Well, the whole issue is it's got to be plowable. Plowable, right? So, yeah. and the, uh, you know, and if it's not, they're going to have to. Back they're going to have to fix it. it. Right. And they understood that, so they, you know, they brought in a uh, a paving company with an actual paver. You know, the way the temporary pavement had to go down with the requirement of every night. Um, is part of the reason it was in the condition that it was in, to be honest with you. Right. You know, every night at the end uh, of the those, night. Those guys, they've, they've, had, yeah. they've had a tough tough yeah. time of it. So anyway, um, so that's done. Um, it was swept. They, I got an email today. He said they were going to be back out there tonight to sweep it again. They swept before, and then they were going to be back out tonight. They should be, he said, 6 o'clock tonight. I didn't see anybody when I drove through that. But if there are any issues with it, not being properly swept by the smell, but sure. um, we should be we should be good there. Um, now with the winter shutdown, it does give us um, an opportunity to regroup a little, um, and we talked about this. Um, you know, I think the the plan going forward needs to change, or, or we need to come up with um, contractor needs to come to us with with how he wants to approach this because right now banging with a hammer. On the rock where they are now, in the middle of the night, isn't uh, isn't getting it done. We're just not making progress, uh, and he's aware of that. Everybody's aware of that. So I think, it's, yeah, yeah, we absolutely can't go back and do that the way we were doing it. Um, we've got to come up with another with another means for that. Especially while we're in this the deep cut, we're in the approaching the deepest cut right now and we'll be in the deep cut for a few hundred feet out there and then they'll slowly start to come out of a few hundred that linear that? feet. Yeah. Yeah. Deep away. So I think at the deepest point they're going to be like 14, 15 feet deep um, and they're about they're about that right now. Um, so we talked about I think we kind of need a series of meetings to get everybody on the same page. We had a bunch of meetings before the project to get the approvals that we did to do it the way we're doing it. So we kind of have to revisit some of that stuff. Um, we talked about first just a meeting with Rockio to, to get from them what they intend to do so we know what it is we need to ask for. 
how they intend to do it. I think that's something, you know, maybe Luke, if maybe you and Frank and, and I can meet with, with Rocchio yep. uh, and set up a time. I was thinking maybe the commission meets again in two weeks. I don't know. It doesn't have to be the night of the meeting, but I was thinking we could do uh, later in the afternoon on the Tuesday before the meeting, if that works for, for you guys. We can meet in Foxborough. Yep. Or we can meet right here. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. Um, but I'd like to get that set up so that the contractor can prepare his his thoughts and, and give us what he thinks his schedule is to do the work. Um, and then when we get a, a good feel from him on how he feels he needs to approach it to be able to be productive, then we got to uh, probably regroup with the town because it's, it's going to entail day work and we're going to need some sort of reasonable window. Um, from the state. You know, yes, from the state, and you know, and that'll go back to the discussion with the schools and, and with the select board and the police about you know being out in 123 during the day, um, at least until we can get through this deepest area of, of rock. So, uh, and then from there, once everybody's on board, it would be going to the state and getting their uh, their permit, the permit modified. You know, I think it need we need a permit that allows blasting because the permit doesn't allow blasting. I right. addressed that with the state several times and asked them for yeah. how we get permission to blast, and they never responded. So we're gonna he's gonna need to blast. If you blast, you do it. That's all right. Um, <clears throat> that's that will be the question. I don't know if that's a good idea. Loading dynamite uh, at night and blasting, but. Yeah. It, it can be done. It can be done, but it's you know the you know I think you're going to element. Risky yeah. Business. yeah, I mean if no. you're going to rattle those you, you, homes, you know you know the yeah. game. What you want to do is drill at night. Yeah. Yeah. Drill it, plate it, have it ready to go, and then right. load Lock and shoot yeah. sometime mid. But the drilling at night isn't going to be much different than hammering. Than the hammering, mm -hmm. and where we had the neighbor come out okay. True. with a health issue you know the, yeah, the right. email chain to the board that yeah you know, she legitimately yeah. wasn't sleeping you know so it is still staccato it's less violent but it's it's not pleasant yeah what are the other options besides blasting are there any besides yeah, hammering, hammering besides blasting, blasting when you're that deep there's no chemical. you're not going to get are, a, there, you're yeah. not going to get a rock there are, down there, there are you, chemicals that you can any issues with the wetlands that are here mm -hmm. and stuff and that okay. yeah, we probably wouldn't get approval. Yeah, that's fine. Just figured it might be asked. And yeah, mm -hmm. well, that's why I want to talk with Rocky. Yeah. Yeah. Rock splitting. Yeah. You could, you could, you're still yeah. drilling and using, you know, the the hydraulic rock breakers. But that's for an, a big individual. This is this is the whole. This is terra firma. Yeah. You in need, that, to, sh you need um, to shoot it. In that area, we did some core drills. Yeah. How large is this piece that we're anticipating is there? I know you well, we do our borings every. Um, 300 feet, and then we did probes halfway yeah. between. Okay, so that's what so we have a good profile. What we yeah. think this looks like. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah, and it's just what we don't know is how you know how much of it is boulders because mm -hmm. until the most recent piece, it was yeah. boulders right. that were yeah. breaking up. It was, it was, up. It was right. slow, yeah. but they were breaking up, mm -hmm. and now it's it's solid ledge. And I think that's I think the, the piece surprise. that they're hammering on is the piece that. That house sits on. Oh, we depth, about. Oh, I think you know it is. Yeah. yeah. The depth is the ledge at? Uh, like three feet below ground, and we're going down about 12 feet. So we're going 12 feet into the ledge? Mm -hmm. Well, nine feet into it. Yeah, 12. Yeah. Is it weathered? Uh, not this stuff. No. Uh, this stuff's just solid. The top foot is, and then. Right. Uh, That's good. No. <laughs> There's no, nothing good about it. No. Do we have options to go around it? I know you've done a straight line core in the in the mm -hmm. area that was yeah. anticipated. If we want to do some more, is it worth if doing? If we want to spend cores, some money to do testing, some probes, some probes, right. we can do that. Just, just throwing things out. Probes in the road in the winter? Is that part of the shutdown? They would, um, no, they would allow. I it think. Because you're in and out one day. I mean, you know, yeah, I think away. with the way the yeah, I think yeah. we could get the state on board to approve that. Um, That'd be the best option. Mm. Just, just be something to look at. I mean, if you yeah. have refusal straight across the road, you got no option to go, but to go through. Right. It. Exactly. This but if, if you find a sweet spot, right? Go around it. You know, yeah. providing there's no other utilities that are already well, utilizing yeah. that corridor, 
which we know yeah, is just a lot of space. Yeah, as soon as you get out of the box, you're going to find the other utilities, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, by looking at the map, we can get a pretty good idea if we have a window there that we might be able to go left or right. Mm -hmm. um, just, just a thought. It's tricky, you know, because we were scheduled to cross the road coming up, you know, a couple hundred feet up here, and we've already changed that plan based right. on what's been encountered, so we're going to stay on the side, the school side of the road um, longer. Just, yeah, one, you know, a solution to one problem creates it, it another. Creates another, sure. Yeah. And the series of meetings, the first one is with the town, you guys. The next one is all players, police, yeah. fire, when oh, if there's yeah, a game plan. Yep. Yeah. And so the first one goes, yeah. Yeah. But and that is the plan. And then we we just all need to know what it is we want to do before we ask the state for permission mm -hmm. to do it. Well, at some point, that we got to insist that it has to be done that way with the state. Yeah, and I, at I some point, you would want to involve your state reps. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the to get involved. I, mean, I, I think we did know it was out there. Yeah. yeah. You know, and they, they, they figured they'd be able to hammer. Right. That was their intent. The, the big individuals that they were hitting are were manageable, and yeah. then when it becomes solid, I mean, you, you taking a taking a um, sample every three hundred feet doesn't give yeah. you foot by foot in a probe every yeah you know, in the middle. Yeah. 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 Yeah, until you dig the trench, you don't know for sure. So yeah, I mean, we'll progress with those uh, with those meetings and see. You know, like I said, the first one's the most important one is get a, get the contractor to tell us what his thoughts are. It is his means and methods. You know, right. he has the drawings. He knew there was rock out there. Um, so how is he? Knowing how it's gone so far, and he needs right. to come up with another plan. What is his alternative plan? Yep. And you know, blasting is is not uncommon. I mean, it's, it will, it'll move a lot quicker to do it that way than what they're doing now. They just have to have the right uh, contractor to do it. If I don't know how how much of that they do, or if that's something they'll right. sub out. So, um, so um, that's where we're at with them. Um, with the shutdown here, we are going through. Um, some of the change order requests, um, we talked before that they've been submitting them, so I've got change order requests. There's, uh, we're up to number 17 uh, as far as requests go, but there's only 16 because they skipped 12, so that's the good news. There aren't actually 17 <laughs> change order requests. Well, that's refreshing. Yeah. Yeah. The first 17 four, would have blown my mind. 16 is way, way more handled. Well, and four, the first four have been... Uh, what, about, what about 13? Four, they, yeah, they, they, have they use 13. Okay, yeah, they but use, not 12. Um, not 12. Mm -hmm. All right. 12. They skip. They skip so that was a scratch pad. Yeah. Somebody, somebody called. Yeah. So actually the first four have been addressed. One of them was the, um, I think we talked before about the utility location out at Wheaton. We, we took additional measures at Wheaton's request right. to figure things out and Wheaton did pick up the cost of that. So that one uh, was Very paid nice. and a couple of the other ones um, have been, are no longer, uh, have basically been refused and, sure. and, and moved on. So the one I did bring um, tonight, we've been working on, uh, it's a combination of three of their change order requests five, six, and nine, if the numbers matter to anybody. But um, what we did is we looked at all the issues. We've been talking about the issues at Wheaton with the uncharted utilities, even with the extra markouts, um, the things that they encountered. And we did track, you know, with our resident on site, we tracked um, the hours where they were impacted significantly um, by the utilities that they had to deal with, replace, you know, encountering things, replacing drains, uh, the water, um, they dealt with that for a couple of days. Um, the water where we didn't know exactly where it was going and which main it was and they were under a, the T of the live main and they and we had to get it shut down, all that stuff. I mean, it, it's all in here. I mean, basically it added up to, you know, for the four weeks or five weeks that they were out on Wheaton, it added up to lost time of about four days. and. When you put in, uh, and we've gone through this and, and been back and forth a couple times with the contractor. Um, so we're recommending 
um, what is now just referred to as change order number one. Um, it's about $43,000. Um, and it's basically that. It's the, it's everything that they encountered at Wheaton that we're acknowledging um, impacted them. So um, I just am bringing this today. I sent an email copy to Frank about an hour before I got on the road, so he probably hasn't even looked at it yet, but he has a PDF copy of it. Um, and I don't know how you want to proceed with that. If you want to have more discussion about it, if you want to have time um, to look at it, but I do, um, I, I would like to move this along for the contractor when we Yeah, can. I, I don't see why we couldn't go ahead and approve it. Um, they're, they're, they've had a very difficult time on this, and I think as long as you... And there are more to come. Yeah, no, I mean, you have... This one, this is right. the first one that would right. at least be an, an olive branch that we are Right, no, you've, you've been documenting what it is, and if you're saying the four days, I mean, yeah. four days and four weeks, I, that's understandable. Yeah. So, um, I guess, uh, do we need a motion? Do we sign them? What, what is it? So the way we did them on the, on the town center and we've done them... Before with the SRF, Frank is authorized okay. to sign things. I think the commission votes right. um, to authorize the change order, and then Frank has the authority so to sign them. You're calling this group of numbers change order? Or this is change order number one. Change order number one in the form of a motion to okay. approve change order number one for what is it, 43 and change? 42839. I make a motion to approve change order number one for forty-two thousand eight hundred thirty-nine dollars. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And we authorize Frank Fournier to sign it. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. And I can uh, we can talk about that more afterwards, Frank. I want to handle the, the signed copies. Right now, um, I'll go ahead and say it was. Um, Beneficial, obviously, to have Wheaton pay for their portion of whatever um, layout and whatever they did yeah. from their end. So that that took a little bit of the bite away already. And yep. I know how it is firsthand um, digging in old old streets and utilities. It's horrible. Yeah. It's just layer upon layer. You're an archaeologist, and <laughs> and they're deep. Yeah. They're deep. Yeah. So that forty three thousand makes perfect sense. Okay. Um, update on financing or um, let's call it re uh, reimbursements. So with the housing authority, with the um, monies that are going to be coming from them, um, back at the beginning before we even started construction, they had paid the connection fee. So right. that money is is in the uh, is in the town's account in this, for this project. Um, at the last meeting, or right before the last meeting, or right after. We processed um, an invoice to them. We worked with Rose and Frank and processed an invoice for their share of all the pre-construction costs, the design, everything that was ineligible for the SRF right. that had been paid to date. Um, and that came in last Friday. Rose said she put it, uh, she forwarded it up to the treasurer's office last Friday. That was 108, almost 109,000 um, came in on that. Sure. Um, so today. Um, we put together the next one, so now we're going to start requesting the monies for the construction. Right. So, um, about a month ago, maybe a little longer than a month, we submitted the first SRF reimbursement request. Okay. Uh, and that was 550000 and that got reimbursed by the state. So, um, the town has that money, and the way we were going to do it is um, take that SRF reimbursement which has all the backup, you know, it shows the police detail slips, our invoices, the contractor's Everything. payment recs is all in there, and the housing authority, we just send that to them and say, and your share is 27.7% okay. of this. So we have a bill ready to go. I don't, um, I would say, I don't think the commission needs to vote on these things. We just no. kind of just inform you. Right. So I think no. Rose, thank um, you for Frank, that. You this is, this is have, an open project already approved, voted yeah. on. And the one thing that we're getting into now is how 
the between the SRF monies coming in and the grant monies coming in, how they're going to overlap. And our intent is so we'll send. Uh, we have an invoice ready to go um, for 27.7 percent of that first SRF reimbursement request, which you've already gotten that money. Right. Any money that comes in from the housing authority or DHCD then needs to be credited the next SRF reimbursement request you do. So, right. it, and I got to work on exactly, so the next SRF reimbursement request, Fran, would be for, we've got it put together, it would be for $343,000, okay, based on costs accrued since the last SRF reimbursement. Mm -hmm. But we're going to be getting 150000 from the DHCD for the first SRF reimbursement request. So I think at this point we need to create a line in the SRF reimbursement request. We can't take the full SRF amount and then the, at some point we have to offset. Yeah, I'm not sure when the appropriate time to do it that is, either on an ongoing basis or at the end. To say just the dollar amount is the dollar amount, get it in, and then at the end you just stop. You know what I mean? Um, because this is just a way of getting a bill paid uh, up front by mm -hmm. the Housing Authority. And whereas the uh, SRF Fair program is basically said we'll pay you, you know, 2% loan for the dollar amount. Right. So the dollar amount is the dollar amount and then, it can't, you know, deal with it at the end. Because mm -hmm. the other thing, it doesn't really matter. The, 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 the interest during construction is still zero, right? So... But the short term. Yeah, the short term yeah. stuff is 0%. Yeah. So that doesn't change anything. Yeah, we just have to make sure at the end that it we don't take too much too much SRF money that does, we have to make sure we've offset the amount that comes Correct. from the state. Correct. Yeah, because cause we don't, you know, we're not going to need to take the full SRF loan in the end. Yeah, you can do it at the end. Yeah. You can actually get, okay, we'll get to this point and say we're only going to, we've got all the money from uh, and the Housing Authority and DHCD. And then from there on, to only request small amounts of money to be able to be reimbursed by the SRF program. Okay. That's a, that right. may be the preferred yeah. way to do it. Yeah, I mean, we're early in the process. Yeah. So we'll keep an eye on that. So basically, that is ready to go to the Housing Authority, and we'll finish. Um, we've, we're waiting for some signatures um, from the contractor on the SRF reimbursement request, and then I'll get you the paperwork sure. that, that you sign. And we'll get that SRF reimbursement request to group. And that should kind of bring us up to up to date on uh, on getting the, uh, the town's money for the uh, for the payments. Is, this, is the state giving us guidelines on how to deal with the uh, principal um, forgiveness piece, or is that no. something they'll do at the they do at the end? I think they'll do that at the end. Yeah, they haven't other than tell us it's there. Mm -hmm. They haven't given the guidelines on how that's going to work. Yeah, and the principal forgiveness piece is in fact based on the, the total amount as well. Yeah. So uh, the total amount of the loan. And at the end, you're not going to take the full loan. So it'll be interesting how that, that's going to get worked out. But we did seems, early seems on like worked out with the SRF folks to just leave it the way it is, the full amount. That would be nice. Mm -hmm. the, um, the two utility bills that we talked about last mm -hmm. month, you process yep. both of those for payment. We got what we needed from this. Okay. Do we know if those checks went? You know that I you put. You know that you brought it. The paperwork went the right direction. She they did they're pretty good. She's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. They have been pretty quick about the turnovers. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we'll follow up with the utility companies at some point and find out what their schedule is. If they've got their their money, then they'll be easier to talk to. <laughs> they might have to answer our calls. I think that's it. I think that's where we're at. You know, I just, it would be nice to exhale and have a little time, but we got to move quickly to, to be ready for when they can get back out there. Right. Because um, the, uh, what is you it, know, April 15th? That's when right? the, yeah, we'll, okay. we'll look to get out there earlier. Okay. That's the, uh, by permit, that's, yeah, they, they're not supposed to be out there between November 15th and April 15th. But we'll hope to get out there earlier. Season. It's mm -hmm. crazy. It's tough in this area. Right. Um, yeah, obviously, schedule is sliding. You know, we also need to reevaluate 
um, some of the auxiliary costs that are tied to time, like right. police, engineering oversight, all that stuff right. is, is a direct factor of how long it takes. So um, we'll have some time to reevaluate and, and see where we're at with that stuff. But they definitely, and we've talked before, you know, the, the police um, is going fast out on the highway. Who determines the amount of details for you? So I, I have that question all the time. My understanding is the contractor tells the police where he's going to be. And I I mean, it's got to be the police's call on what they think they need for, for coverage for that. How much road is going to be blocked off and put aside? Yeah, you know, where you are. I mean, yeah. the biggest thing is, you know, the, the silver lining or the positive pieces that were through that. Right. Major, I think the, major intersection. Because we had six police at right. times, and it was necessary. Right. And, and it just took them forever to get through there. Right. So they would have two, one, you know, on 123 near Mansfield Ave, the other on 140 Taunton Ave. Yeah, they had six officers some nights and one or two cruisers. Um, yeah. It's, it's, well, it's dangerous out there. That. I was going to say, yeah. it's night work, mm -hmm. and it's, we can all agree that it's beneficial yeah. that nothing, no, there were no accidents yeah. and nobody yeah. got hurt. So Yeah, no, it's, you, it's, a, you, it's a necessary thing. If you, skim, thing, if you yeah. skimp sometimes and there's an incident, what's what's that really worth? Right. You know what I mean? I'm not saying to to no, spend more money, but you got to look yeah. at the big picture. And I think after the intersection, it will be more linear traffic and maybe less details. Yes, you know, I do feel now that, that we're that, up that, on that, 123 that is crazy heading normally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we should put a put a 12 foot trench in the ground and trucks and equipment everywhere and night. I, I was through that several times, not only meeting with them, just going through, and it's like, man, this this is not easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right. I think that's what I got. So I'll circle back, and um, you want to try and. You want to look at your schedule for if the next meeting is in two weeks for meeting, you know, sometime after three o'clock, four o'clock. Right. Yeah. Based on your schedule. No, the end of the day is best for me. Um, is four o'clock enough time? Four o'clock's fine. Okay, and that gives us time to meet with them for an hour, hour and a half, yeah. and then be able to get here. So is that the tenth? I'm assuming that's when the next that's Tuesday. Way. Second yeah. Tuesday. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, that would be the the tenth. So I'll work with Rocchio and we can set that up. Would you rather do it in at, in Foxborough at our um, office or here? Let's say uh, Foxborough if it's all right with you. That's fine. With us. Okay. So the meetings will set as the tenth and the twenty fourth. No, no, oh, not not the twenty fourth. I don't think so. <laughs> no, wait, no, wait, no, wait. I don't care. You want to? Well, you're not here ever. So, <laughs> what, 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 what would be different? We reintroduce one, one, one out, one out of five. Okay. Um, maybe. Um, I don't know. That's a tough one, isn't it? It is. I don't want to go to the end of that week either. Maybe that you want to nix the whole Christmas week. Well, that puts you into New Year's for the next one. Well, that, if it's a Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, the day after, the week after. So, yeah. yeah. You, you like the twenty third? Or I just I just yeah. know you know the last last minute stuff's crazy for everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tentatively the twenty third and just just figure out the your next meeting. Right. You can do. Know by then okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll say the tenth and, and pencil the twenty third. Okay. And we'll see what's on. I mean, realistically, I don't think we'll have many visitors. And if we have to stop by and sign bills, it's, right, it's mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah and then you're going to be, a little bit, two weeks after that, you'll be opening bids, hopefully, right. on the water main job. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you're going to be wanting, wanting to meet around that around time, that just time. so that the results of the bids come in. Yeah, so the like January is the yeah. bid date. I see. And, and the timing is such is that you guys are going to be putting this January third. When, when's the seventh? January seventh. And um, yeah, because technically January. Would because be you got to the goal is to put it out there. Right? People line up their work for the spring. Sure. No, that's 
Yeah, you got to bounce. Yeah, yeah. 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 first one's in. You might, you could bump Line them up. Yeah, it's a pretty good move at that point. Yeah. 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 Numbers, hopefully. yeah. So I think I think we're good with our updates. Mm -hmm. That's everything yeah. that, that we have right now. Cool. So next meeting we should be able to have a good idea of what's going on with the plant. I mean, yeah, around Christmas is when we're talking about water flowing through. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That is yeah. awesome. Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Well, I would entertain a motion to adjourn if you are so. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're out.